I have another young poet with me, Elijah Walter. You probably heard his Bath and Body Works, Occupy Bath and Body Works poem. That was outstanding. Elijah, thanks for being here. Thank you. It's entitled Occupy Bath and Body Works. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, we have a societal travesty on our hands in terms of the limited array of smells a man can acceptably present himself with. When Garnier Fructis has more shampoos than there are total toiletries in Head and Shoulders, Dove Men, Axe, and Old Spice combined. When deodorants come in three varieties, tropical islands, sporting events, and douche bag. <laughs> we as a gender need to unite and bring forth a new era of smelling like stuff. <laughs> to overthrow the female monopoly that has gripped its deliciously scented and well-lotioned clutches around anything and everything that doesn't smell of musk and athleticism. Some may argue that these are lands we as a gender must not traverse. That fruits, flowers, and most of the smells we hold near and dear in our lives are the same ones we ourselves must not bear. That we would do best to continue to apply cologne that smells either of bug spray or vinegar or some ungodly combination of the two. Why does it matter so much, you may be asking? Why are you not content with smelling like a dingy locker room, you pioneer of progressive pungency, you? You may be asking me. <laughs> but before you make a fool of yourself asking such questions, I must ask you, what is so effeminate about the aroma of an orange? Why must mango and masculinity be mutually exclusive? Why must mint be a smell reserved to only our mouths? Why do I have like five options for buying hand lotion? Why do all five of these options smell like hospitals? <laughs> we need change. We need it now. Because sometimes a fella just gotta smell it like a vanilla bean. Because, because dandruff shampoo should not be the only item in your shower. Because nobody goes up to a strawberry and smells it and says, you know, only women should smell this good. 50% of the population controls 90% of the sense. We are the revolution. Occupy Bath and Body Works. Give us your inspiration point for writing that piece. That was powerful. Part of it was I wrote it for a poetry slam we had at school. And we were supposed to have three poems, and I had two. And I thought of that and wrote it there at the competition over the course of the night, so uh -huh. it was kind of spur of the moment thing, but I revised it for this, and part of it was just an idea I had, but also, I don't know, I just, to open that door of discussion on that subject, it was just something random I thought of, I guess. Well, your randomness is really brilliant. What did you learn from Amber and Bo working with them on refining that piece today? A lot of it was like, basically, you wrote that poem, you know what you want to say, go say it, and don't let anyone else influence what you want to do with your poetry since it's what you wrote and no one else wrote it. You mentioned in school you have poetry slams. Yeah. Tell us about those. I'm curious as to how the group functions and how um, often you perform. Well, it's an annual thing. Uh, we have a literary press that operates it. It's called the Pam Slam. It has poetry, art, and music, and it's a really cool thing that we do. And I signed up for it freshman year, not really knowing what I was getting into. <laughs> and I wrote three poems and then I won freshman year and then I realized I might want to start doing this more and then I won again this year and that's one of the poems I used was the one I performed today. And it's just a really fun, supportive thing that they do where people get to perform a thing that's often not performed at school. True, rock on, congratulations. I can see why you won. What are your future aspirations with your poetry? Um, well, I, I do a lot of acting and stuff, and part of my poetry is bridging the gap between poetry and acting, kind of assuming a persona to present. Mm -hmm. um, 
I just want to write more and do more with both acting and poetry. Well, I encourage that. Keep going. You're really, really phenomenal. Thank and you. that poem was brilliant. Thanks, Elijah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Keep doing it. Keep Thank writing. You. Frame is sponsored by Allegra, Click Marketing Solutions, Dial Folio Jewelry.